welcome back again and uh we we also discussed the market approach uh we talked about the product charge and 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 the tax um now we, we want to see how we can determine the equilibrium conditions either the competitive and the efficient equilibrium so i will do this in two parts first we are going to focus on the competitive equilibrium then later on we'll move on to um to efficient equilibrium right so we suppose we have firm firm a right um so we are saying firm a uh, produces um produces a q a product here right um monthly right so but production of q um is associated with emission of um of um of a pollutant right that um that is going to affect maybe the health of 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 the of the people in in the community in the in the city right um so product q is produced and p is the price um this is price per unit of q right so q q units are produced say monthly right um so q represents the units of output and p is the price uh, of, of of the unit of output right um so if we are given uh, the estimated marginal store benefit marginal store costs and marginal private benefits and marginal private costs it's easier for us to determine the equilibrium conditions the competitive and um, efficient equilibrium right uh, suppose uh, say a uh, marginal social benefit is equal to 46 minus 0 0.5 q and marginal social cost is equal to 4 plus 0 0.5 q and marginal externality benefit is equal to zero and marginal externality cost is equal to 0 0.3 q right um recall that for a combat you need to recall that for a competitive equilibrium right uh let's first look uh competitive equilibrium for a competitive equilibrium, we are focusing on the private marginal private costs and marginal private benefits. We said marginal private costs should be equal to marginal um, uh, private benefits, right? And um, on the other hand, when we when we focus on um, efficient equilibrium, we look uh, we consider marginal social costs and marginal social benefit. Um, so for the private we don't consider the it's not for the society but for um for the firm and also for the consumers who are benefiting directly from the purchase of the product right um if we are to recall that okay if we have um marginal private cost and marginal private benefit right this q here is qc the competitive equilibrium and this pc here is um pc is the price at the at the competitive equilibrium so we have q say quantity of um if it's gasoline whatever right right then we want to find the equilibrium um, condition, the competitive equilibrium, we equate that. But we are given marginal store benefit and marginal store cost. So we need to find uh, the marginal private benefits and marginal private cost. Right. Recall marginal store benefit is cost to marginal private benefits plus marginal externality benefits. But marginal externality benefits is zero. So this is zero. Right. It means that it implies that marginal so benefit is equal to marginal private benefits so this equation is same as the marginal private benefit so we are saying marginal private benefits is equal to 46 
minus 0 0.5 q right marginal social cost is equals to marginal private cost plus uh, marginal externality cost right um which implies that marginal private cost is equals to this goes this side marginal social cost minus marginal externality cost marginal private cost is equal to marginal social cost uh, 4 plus 0 0.5 q minus marginal externality cost 0 0.3 q this is equal to 4 plus 0 0.2 q now we have our marginal private cost curve and marginal private benefits curve so we can now find the equilibrium position qc and pc we just equate the two so we are saying um marginal private benefit is equal to marginal uh, private cost right this is competitive um equilibrium where we are finding qc and pc right sorry for that right so um, which is 46 minus 0 0.5 q is equal to 4 plus 0 0.2 q um like terms to the same side um it means um 46 minus 4 is equal to 0 0.2 q plus 0 0.5 q this is equal to 42 equal to 0 0.7 Q right divided by 0 0.7 divided by 0 0.7 Q which is competitive equilibrium QC is equals to um 60 which means this is this is 60 right um it's now easy uh, to find the competitive equilibrium price right either you use um marginal private benefit equation or marginal private uh, cost equation so um, you choose whatever you want to use because at that point marginal private cost and marginal private benefit is equal to pc so if we say marginal private benefit right uh, is equal to pc uh, equal to uh, point when q is 60 right and this is equal to, uh, we find this in the calculator. This is equal to 16. So it means PC is equal to 16. So this is $16 here. Thank you for that.